Hello everyone. Today I am here going to show the uh, demonstration on analog uh, design using Cadence Virtuoso. So, topic of my talk will be the hands-on demonstration of Cadence Virtuoso, DC analysis of CMOS inverter using Cadence Virtuoso, transient analysis of CMOS inverter rise time fall time calculation parametric analysis for the design of in ideal inverter so this is the uh, circuit diagram of uh, cmos inverter and expected output of dc analysis will be like uh, shown in the figure where, where uh, you can see the btc curve is shown static power can be calculated from this analysis and uh, in the uh, bottom transient output is shown and using transient analysis we can get this output and dynamic power can be calculated rise time fall time can be calculated propagation delay can be calculated so let's move to the demo directly without wasting time so this is the cadence virtuoso tool you can invoke it from your working directory by typing a, a command virtuoso or depending on the script file configured the co uh, command will be uh, very so this is the Arcadence virtuoso tool and this is the console i am here using 6.7 64 bit version now for creating a new design let us create a new library first So name one uh, uh, name the library according to your desired name. In matter test. So here you can see a pop up has been uh, shown for attaching the technology library. So click on add, attach to an existing technology library and available technology library you select from your library and press ok now you can see here inverter test blank library is created now go to file new cell view give a name inverter any name so it will show you the schematic editor of cadence purchaser now press i for invoking instance so your library is tsmc65 so search for psh for pmos and nch nch for nmos These are the parameters of MOSFET W by L ratio. You can vary according to your desired design specification. Press escape. Now press W to connect where do the wiring of the terminal. So give the port by clicking on this create pin give VDD as input output GND as input output port so BDD ground I have given now give the input pin output p out
now my design is over now i press check and save to create a net list in background press escape now let us create the symbol of that for that go to create cell view from cell view then press save so this is the symbol you can use it for testing or you can uh, uh, you can recall it many times wherever you required inverter you can also design the symbol of inverter here using this type of tools so it is not mandatory so i'm not going to show here now close it now make another schematic new file inverter tv new new schematic where you call the your own inverter that is designed now here the symbol is coming place it now give the voltage sources pdc so in tsmc 65 nanometer technology 1.2 volt is maximum so i am giving 1.2 volt For DC analysis, we have to give input as DC sources. So first of all, we will show. I will show you the DC analysis. Now press I and uh, GND. So now press W to where the instances. Now create pin B out. Yeah. Now we take one load as capacitor. Suppose it's one picovered, you can change it. So now you can also name the net so that at the output you can easily distinguish between the input and output waveform. Bean. Now it's fine. Check and save. Our test bench is ready to test for DC analysis. So for that, go to launch ADL. ADL, ADL, ADL is analog design environment. L is the version. Setup. Go to setup model libraries. Have to check the model library whether it is selected or not. Give the model libraries and uh, uh, give the section. This is TT lib. Typical, typical library. Go to analysis. Choose DC analysis. Select component parameter to vary the input component parameter. DC parameter and we are going to vary from 0 to 1.2. Right. Okay. Now we have to check the outputs, outputs to go to output. To be plotted select on design input and output if i select the where it will give the voltage curve if i select the node it will give the current curve so where output press save all for static power calculation all values will be saved now run it So 
so this is the output this is the transfer curve where I have given the net name that's why it is coming like B in otherwise it will come like net so it is difficult to identify the where so now let us uh, do the uh, let's check the static power from go to tools result browser DC so this is the static power consumed by this circuit you can see here now let's do parameter and click on this symbol in press new tab it will give the circuit now let's use one let's be bury the width of pmos so for bury, burying width of pmos you have to give in the width some variable wp check and save now at the ideal right click here copy from cell view gives the previous uh, default value first go to tools parametric analysis now click on the variable list now bury the width so 200 nano to suppose uh, 2 micro or uh, even more depending upon the uh, requirements you can check you are not finding the ideal value for designing the ideal inverter you can vary like this and find the points where the intersecting of input and output is at BDD by 2 so here you can select the which one will be your ideal output and corresponding W by W can be replaced with uh, WP so this is the DC analysis uh, you can use it for designing ideal inverter finding static uh, static power also finding the operating point of uh, MOSFET you can also find from using this analysis so if you want to find that is a wording point and other parameters of MOSFET you can go to results print DC operating points click on the MOSFET it will show the values here it is showing according to the W variations so better to use single variable value and um, find the this is a single plot one plot and uh, results go to print this operating point now you can see the single values or uh, uh, fixed w by w value here you can see the region is zero like that everything gm is there so beta effective is there so like that you can find the value parameter uh, values of internal parameter of any mosfet any devices using this analysis now move forward for transient analysis so for transient analysis in the tv you have to give transient sources so delete press i give b pulse one point two period you can select of your own Suppose 500 nano, ice time 10 pico, power time 10 pico, pulse width half of period 250 nano. Now check and save. In the ideal, you have to choose analysis as transient give the stop time greater than period suppose 2 micro this is the modes of simulation conservative high resolution medium resolution moderate and liberal less resolution for complex circuit we will opt for liberal but there's this is small circuit so we will opt for conservative for better results 
okay disable the dc analysis run it so this is the transient response of the inverter you can uh, segregate this merged output by pressing this full view here you can see b in the input and this is the output it's this is slightly bending due to the capacitor okay so from here you can calculate the uh, rise time fall time for rise time fall time calculate uh, calculation you have to click on this send to calculator function is there uh, rise time so maximum value is initial value is 0 0.012 10 percent of uh, 10 percent of uh, 1.2 and is the 90 percent of 1.2 press ok now click on this calculation here you can see 14.55 nanosecond is their rise time so in this way you can calculate the rise time similarly you can also calculate the fall time by same equation now you can select here this and press this to go to the ADL here you can see the expression is coming here if you run now it will show the value directly in the ADL directly in the ideal or you can copy it I click it edit give a name of your own rise time now paste it here add it also you can do like this I delete now give the same value so this is the rise time if you maximize it you can see the unit also 14.55 nanosecond so in this way you can calculate pole time also from this analysis now let us uh, check the um, uh, dynamic power result browser so on. here you can see the power this is the power plot of your inverter design now take the average of this using function function so this is the 2.89 microwatt is your power consumption of this dynamic power consumption of this MOSFET So this is um, it for uh, front end design, design perspective. In the next video, I will be showing you the back end design of this inverter. Thank you for watching. Now I am saving the state for future use.